Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a Christmas gift guide video. So I film one of these every year and I just put together a little selection of either gifts that I'm planning on giving or gifts that I've received or given in the past that have gone down well, just to give you guys a little bit of inspiration and a few ideas if you are stuck for buying for friends or family this Christmas. So I have gifts here that are mainly suitable for girls, but a few that I've thrown in that are good to give for boyfriends or dads or would work well for both guys and gals. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get straight into it. As always, everything will be linked in the description box below. And if you have any questions about anything, just drop me a comment. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is a candle. Now, everybody loves a candle. You're lying if you don't. Even boys love candles. They just don't realize until you actually light one in their living room. They go, wow, that's lovely. This particular one I think is probably more suited to mums, girlfriends, sisters. It's a beautiful one from Lueve, as you can see. And you may be able to spot the cucumber on the front because that is the scent. It's a beautiful little mini one, lovely green shape. Now I had one that looked very similar to this that I got from Primark a little while ago. And I always admired the Loewe ones, thought how beautiful they were, but never treated myself to one because I thought that they were quite expensive. They are expensive, don't get me wrong, for a very small candle, but not as expensive as you might think. I think this was around £80. I haven't lit it yet because I'm saving it for springtime because it's cucumber, but obviously they do lots of other scents, lots of other colours as well, so I'm sure you'll find the right one for whoever you're buying for. They also do bigger sizes as well. This, I think, is the smallest size and it is available on Net-A-Porter, but it's like a really nice luxury candle and it's a little bit different than the classic white company candles that I often buy my mum. Something like this is just perhaps a little bit more special, more different, and it's definitely something that you wouldn't necessarily buy for yourself, so it's nice to have a little treat. Also, the smell of this, I mean, obviously I haven't lit it yet, but every time I take this lid off, the smell of cucumber is so overwhelming. Like, it's such a strong candle. I can imagine once this is burning, it is going to fill a room with a cucumber scent. So I'm really, really excited to burn it. I mean, I can't get over how strong it is just from it not even being lit yet. So I'll definitely let you know how I get on with this in the spring next year. Now, kind of along the same lines, I've got a hand wash here. This one is from Byredo, and it is the suede fragrance. I've also had the Vetiver one as well, which I love. Anything from Byredo I think smells beautiful. I am gonna purchase myself the hand cream as well to go along with this, but it's a really nice option for if somebody likes homey gifts. I know my mum always asks for like homeware and stuff for her house. So something like this is gonna look beautiful in someone's kitchen or bathroom. It's a really like luxury hand wash. Again, something that you probably wouldn't buy yourself. Byredo stuff always comes in beautiful packaging as well. Obviously you can get the set, you can just buy one like I have. They also do really nice small candles as well, which are affordable. They are tiny, but if you want a luxury gift for someone and you don't want to spend hundreds of pounds, then a little candle is a great idea. This is stunning. I've had it in my bathroom for the last few weeks and I absolutely adore washing my hands because they end up smelling beautiful afterwards. Next up is something that I include every year in my Christmas gift guide. And this is probably one of the best gifts that my mum has ever bought me. This is the Hotel Chocolat hot chocolate velvetizer. I have it in this kind of muted gray color because it goes best in the kitchen, but I think they do it in a white and a copper as well. And if you like hot chocolate, which I love because I don't drink tea or coffee, so having something like this at home is like my equivalent to a nice coffee machine, then this is honestly the best hot chocolate. I've had hot chocolate in most places because that is my go-to hot drink. And the one that I can make at home with this machine is without a doubt my favorite. So if you do know someone that drinks hot chocolate a lot, this is a wonderful gift. You can also pop ice and cold milk in the drink once you've velvetized it and make like an iced chocolate. There are so many different flavors of hot chocolate. They do vanilla, peanut butter, chili, apple pie, like every single one that you can think of. My favorites are the boring ones, the milk chocolate one and the salted caramel. And if you do know somebody that has a velvetizer, then you could buy them the sachets to go in. These are the salted caramel ones. This is just a pot from Zara Home that we keep them in because it looks cute in the kitchen. But yeah, the velvetizer comes, I think with a box of a couple of 
each of the standard flavours and a few other wild ones as well. Um, and it also comes with two little cups as well, ceramic cups, which are gorgeous. But they also do some that you can buy separately with mugs. So any kind of accessories or hot chocolate to put in the velvetizer as well is a fantastic gift. Next up, I have a few diaries and journals. These make great kind of secret Santa or stocking filler gifts. So the first two I have are from Papier and I have a daily planner and I also have a mid-year diary because I got this I think maybe about three or four months ago. So I still wanted to write in a diary but I wanted it to last. So I got the 23 to 24 planner so it was worthwhile but obviously it's end of the year so you guys would just get the 24 one. Really nice like organiser, really good for dates, I take this with me. Most places, if I can fit it in my handbag, because it's just really good to have. Lovely size, it's got everything in that you need, pages for notes at the back, so it's a lovely planner. And then I also got the daily planner, which is not dated, so this is great because you don't have to like stick to it, you don't have to be writing in it every day. You can use this all throughout the year. And I love the way that it's structured, so there's spaces for goals as well, so you can write down your goals for the year. And then for each day, they have schedule down this side most important jobs to-do lists space for notes as well at the bottom so it's structured really nicely and it's super easy to use i also got it personalized at the top here with amy beth which i think is super cute i do love making lists on my notes folder that's what i go by day to day but i also love to write things down it just gives me a real sense of clarity when something is written down i feel like it sinks in a little bit more so i do do online to-do lists and i do use planners as well and then this one is a little bit different but i actually bought my dad one of these a few years ago it must have been over five years ago now it must be six years because he has finished his. It's called One Line A Day and it's a five year memory book. And you basically just write a short line each day about what you've done, if something has happened, something that you perhaps want to remember on that day. And then you have five spaces. So the next year you'll go back and write underneath and then you can see what you did on that day last year. I know obviously we have like memories and stuff that pop up on our phone, but sometimes it's really nice to have things written down and perhaps something that you didn't take a photograph of is something that you might be writing down. Particularly good for maybe a slightly older generation that don't necessarily look on their phone, don't have those things pop up and that like to write things down. I know that this wasn't something that you would typically think to buy your dad but I know that my dad loved it so he will be getting another one this year. Next up I have a few festive Christmassy gifts from Cowshed. I picked these up when I went to get my nails done at a Cowshed event and they very kindly gifted me both of these pieces so I definitely will be re-gifting them to my mum because I know she is going to love them. So first up much like by Rado we have a Cowshed hand wash and hand lotion set and it comes in this beautiful little caddy. Obviously you can't see it that well because we've got the Christmas packaging over the top but it's just like a wooden little caddy so it's going to look so nice next to the sink again these products smell incredible cowshed is just another luxury brand and then also i have got the big cowshed refresh candle again comes this beautiful packaging and it's a really healthy size lovely big candle super heavy just really simple with the cowshed branding on the front i love that it's black as well nice three wicker my mum loves candles, she's burning them constantly no matter what time of year, so I know that this is definitely going to get used in her house. And the Christmas packaging just makes these gifts. I think it's so gorgeous. So next up, I wanted to talk about a couple of gift vouchers that I have both given and received over the last couple of years. I know gift vouchers can sometimes seem like a little bit of a cop out, especially if it's perhaps a gift voucher to a store. And when I was younger, if I ever didn't know what I wanted, I would just ask for probably a Topshop gift voucher. But these two are a little bit different and a little bit more special. So last Christmas, I bought my boyfriend a gift voucher to the Luna Cinema, which is basically like a company that put on outdoor cinema events, drive-in cinemas, and he said he always wanted to do like a drive-in cinema. Haven't actually got around to doing it yet. We've had to extend the gift voucher, but that's not the point. It's just a really nice kind of special thing to do, more of like an activity voucher, and you don't have to book it and plan it in then. You can wait. I think the vouchers are valid for 12 months and they extended mine as well, so that's great. Just a really nice thing to do. I know lots of people love kind of experiences rather than actual physical presents. So that is one gift voucher that I gifted last Christmas, and my mum actually 
actually got me a gift voucher to go to the Warner Brothers studio and do like the Harry Potter tour. So we have done it before many years ago because it's quite close to where we live. It's only about, I think 45 minutes, maybe an hour away. So we have done it before years ago, but I think it's very different now and there are like lots of new things there and I can't quite remember it anyway so we must get around to booking it another thing we haven't quite booked yet but I just thought it was such a nice gift she knows I love Harry Potter I'm obsessed with the films and I have been before and I do remember it being quite amazing so if you know somebody that is a Potterhead or whatever the name is then that's a fantastic gift again I think they're valid for like 12 months but it gets so booked up we looked at booking recently and we can't go I think it's fully booked until like March, April next year, so that's crazy, but it's definitely worth a visit if you do love the films. Now, back to some more physical presents. I think coffee table books are always a fantastic gift. So this one is the Dior Catwalk book. I bought this for my mum a few years ago now, and I don't think she's ever opened it, but it looks beautiful laid out in her lounge. Obviously, you can tell it really goes with the colour scheme we have here. And again, it's just a nice homey thing, a little bit interesting, and you can definitely pick these to suit whoever you are buying for. So I bought my dad a couple of big coffee table books suited to stuff that he likes. I got him one about Porsches and I got him one about Rolexes. And I know that he loved both of them and actually read both of them. I know lots of people probably don't read a coffee table book, but he read both of them. And then after they're read, you can pop them out on display. You can just think about what things that particular person is into and just get them a giant book on it. So I'll obviously leave this one linked below and I'll try and leave the Rolex and the, I think it was a Porsche 911 one specifically that I got him. I'll see if I can leave those in the description box linked as well in case your dad is into the same thing as mine is. So next is a present that I have included in my gift guides before, but it is a wonderful present. I got this for my mum a few years ago. I actually got her two of these since, but it is an electric diffuser and she uses this so much. She's always buying different oils for it. She has one in her lounge and one in her bedroom as well. And they are amazing. You just plug them in, leave them on, and they fill a room full of a beautiful smell. It's really great as well if you have a dog, because sometimes, especially in this weather, when Maple's been outside and she's wet, the house can sometimes fill with a wet dog smell. So if you put something like this on, it kind of eliminates that immediately. And it's a really lovely present. You can buy different oils to go along with it. You don't have to buy the oils specifically from the White Company either. We've got had some great ones from Primark before, but it's a really lovely present and this gets so much use in her lounge. The one I got her for her bedroom is slightly different, it's a different shape and a little bit smaller so there are a few to choose from and I think there's even like a mini one as well on the White Company website but if your mum doesn't already have one of these then she will definitely thank you for it. Now on to a few cosy things that I always like to include in my gift guides. The first up, a pair of cashmere socks. You cannot go wrong with cashmere socks. These are a great stocking filler, a great secret Santa, a real luxury item. I am always wearing mine throughout winter. They're just so soft. They feel amazing on your feet. So cozy, nothing beats popping these on. A nice cozy pair of slippers, a pair of pajamas, your dressing gown and sitting under a blanket on the sofa. I just love it. I have so many pairs of these cashmere socks. There are some great ones from The White Company. These ones I think I just got from Amazon, but they look exactly the same as my ones from The White Company. You can get loads of different colors. I also bought my boyfriend a pair of cashmere socks last year, which he loves. So they're not just for girls. And another cozy item, you will not be surprised to see I'm featuring my Soho Home dressing gown in this video. I think this is the most used present that my mum bought me last year. It is unbelievable. I would say that I have near enough worn this dressing gown every single day that I have been at home since last Christmas. Even in the summer, I would be wearing this dressing gown. It's just part of my at-home uniform now. I'll be walking around in my clothes and I'll just put this over the top of all my clothes. As soon as I come in the front door, this is the first thing I reach for. It's one size, so it's really nice and oversized and cozy and big. It's not as soft as it was when I first got it because obviously it has been washed several times more than several, a lot of times. So it has lost its softness a little bit, which is annoying, but it is still super cozy. It's got a hood, it's got a nice big belt as well. The only thing I wish it had is pockets. I love a dressing gown with pockets and this one doesn't have pockets, which is the only annoying thing, but it is beautiful. This one is the cream color that I have. They also do it in a beige, but the beige is a bit more 
orangey, a bit more like orangey brown, whereas this cream is a bit more beige, I think anyway. But I am planning on buying one of these for someone this year because I think they make a lovely present. Once you've got one of these, you will think, how did I ever survive without it? Because they're one size, they are great for guys as well. Do them in navy and grey, which I think are a bit more masculine colours. But yeah, love these. So, so worth the money, especially for me, someone who lives in a dressing gown. And of course, it's not Christmas without a pair of Ugg slippers. So these are the ones that I'm giving to my mum this year. I have told her not to watch any of my YouTube videos now because her presents may be in them. But these are just the classic chestnut colour. These are the ones that she loves. I had these ones last year and mine are absolutely rooted because again, it's just something I put on every single day. You forget as well how fluffy they are when they've just come out of the box. They are so cozy. The best slippers, in my opinion. I don't really wear any other slippers. I think I've probably had about five or six pairs of Ugg slippers now. Worth it every time. Also, last year I did buy my boyfriend Ugg slippers and he absolutely loves his. I thought it would be good to include a little bit of jewellery in this video as well. So this is something from Monica Vinader. You guys know I love Monica Vinader. They have been my go-to jewellery brand for a very very long time i'm always wearing their pieces and i recently picked up these earrings and i thought that i would show you them because they are so beautiful so they're a nice kind of like gold hoop with a tortoiseshell hoop attached to the bottom of them really really pretty they look so nice in i've actually got my vivian westwood ones in from flannels at the moment which i also love and would also make a fantastic gift but i thought i'd just show these monica vinader ones as they are new they have so many beautiful pieces on their website i think i always get my mum a piece of jewelry from there every single christmas because they just do gorgeous pieces really feminine really dainty they are expensive because they're good quality pieces but not to the point of kind of like hundreds and hundreds of pounds lots of things are more affordable but still good quality and still special and i think the packaging is super cute as well another piece of jewelry that i got recently and that i'm going to get my mum for christmas is this beautiful bracelet which i got welded at the astrid and mew store i've had jewelry from there before i've got some beautiful huggies from there but they also do welded bracelets so this is like a welded thin gold chain and then you can see the charms. I got an A and a little gemstone which is actually my December birthstone. So you can get up to three charms I think on your bracelet and I thought it'd be really nice to take my mum to the store. They have like a little pop-up at Vista Village so I thought it'd be nice to take my mum there and we can go and get her a nice world of bracelet and she can choose her charms and it's just a nice idea. So we're going to do that as one of her Christmas presents. Just something a little bit different rather than me buying her a bracelet to open and finally for the gift guide this is something i think i included in last year's but it's such a fantastic gift so this is my weekend bag from katie loxton it's in this beautiful like tan brown color it's a little bit creased from where i've kept it under my chest of drawers but these bags i use so so much they're so handy for nights away good for hand luggage as well mine aren't personalized but you can get them personalized as well which i think is just a really nice touch to a gift isn't it i have this color and then i also have the black as well the black one that i have is slightly bigger than this i think but katie loxton just do amazing jewelry i have the suitcase from there as well which is personalised and it's just a lovely set. So if you do know someone that's in need of a bit of luggage or perhaps always goes on weekends away or nights away and needs something like that, then there is plenty to choose from on their website. So many different colours and styles as well. So that is everything for my Christmas 23 gift guide. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know if you think I've missed anything and if you have any other ideas that are really good gifts. I'm always open to hearing them because I always need more ideas. So thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like if you're new to my channel i would absolutely love it if you could hit the subscribe button and i will see you all very soon in my next video bye